So it is actually super cold outside today, which is weird because if you watched my vlog yesterday, it was like almost 60 degrees this morning. It was like 29. So I'm waiting until it warms up a little bit before I go outside. If I go outside at all on the vlog, I'm still trying to figure that out. So I thought I would do a segment today called Weird Stuff on Megan's Desk. You guys don't know me very well yet. My channel is still fairly young and my vlogs are very young. So I wanted to give you guys a chance to sort of get to know who I am in the context of what I like, what I dislike, and those sorts of things and how strange I am because I am very strange. So let's get started now. So really I only have one thing that would be considered weird but the other things still tell a story so I'm still going to talk about them. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind, that's all I know. Yes, this is a mold of my mouth. Why do I have it on my desk, you would ask? Uh, well, because I got a mouth guard at the dentist and they were going to throw this away and I was like, wait, can I have it? And they were like, why? And I was like, cause it's my mouth and I don't get to see my mouth. And they were like, okay. So it is on my desk. I know, kind of strange, but I just think it looks cool. And so I uh, keep it there. I conversation starter, I guess. Next thing is an iPhone box. But Megan, that's not weird. It's not, but the story behind it is sad. So I was filming out in uh, Sloss Furnace. It is a old steel meal and processing plant thing that we have in Birmingham. It's really old. It helped the city grow. Anyway, it was very muddy that day and I leaned down on and got on my knees and my pants got all muddy. And so after I was done filming, I like rushed home, changed my clothes, and then I had some stuff I needed to wash. And so I bundled everything up in my blankets and I threw it in the washing machine. Then a few minutes later, I was like, where's my phone? I went down to my car to look for it. I checked in my bed, I checked in my bathroom, I checked everywhere, and then it hit me. It was in the pants pocket of my jeans. So I like reached my hand down into the the uh, washing machine and the first thing that I pick up is this guy. I felt it the minute I stuck my hand in the washing machine and I did the stupidest thing which was try to turn it on right after I pulled it out of the water. I don't know why I did that but anyway I like pressed the button and was like trying to get it to turn on and then the thing like heat up. Like it felt like it was going to melt in my hand. And then it started making these weird noises like And literally I'm pretty sure I fried the thing. I think if I had waited to try to turn it on and let it air out, it would have turned back on. Whether it would have had issues down the road or not, I don't know. But the thing fried. So I had to get a new one. Object number three, a coaster. Well, coasters are normal. Why is a coaster weird or unusual? Well, it's not, but it's cool because it comes from a speakeasy. Ah, speakeasy. It comes from a speakeasy here in Birmingham called the Marble Ring. The Marble Ring is a secret speakeasy that you go through a phone booth to get into. It's not super well advertised here, only like certain people know about it. It's a 1920s bar. It is so cool and so I kept it because it reminded me of the great Gatsby and uh, so I put my drinks on it. 
and think about all the good times that I've had there. I will take you there in a vlog someday. I just need to contact the owner first and let her know I'm doing it to make sure it's okay since it's so secretive. <laughs>